Oh, hi. Just yesterday, my son and I watched the new live-action Pinocchio, and we absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, the original 1940s Pinocchio was my favorite animated film of all time, up until a couple years ago. And it's still obviously number two. Uh, but, but what they did with, 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 with the live action version was absolutely phenomenal. The things that came straight out of the animated version were perfect. The things they changed were things that made perfect sense because they actually pointed out plot holes from the original that I didn't even uh, uh, realize were plot holes in the original. Exactly. And um, the things they added, albeit some of them maybe not necessary, they still added to uh, the relevance and, and depth of the film. Like the one character, obviously we needed somebody controlling those dolls if Stromboli is, is talking to the crowd. But the fact that, that Pinocchio is uh, mostly puppet and a little bit real, while she was mostly real and a little bit puppet because of the leg brace. Things like that, absolutely phenomenal. I thought, I thought the new Pinocchio was perfect. I loved every second of it. In fact, if I could, I would love to get Flynn's opinion. Is Flynn here? You had me oh, at Flynn. There he is, I had him at Flynn. So, what did you think of Pinocchio? I thought it was pretty good. Thought it was pretty good. What am I doing here? I just came from my own little world. The depths of... oh. No, it's just my own little world. A whole new world? It's, it's my own little world, like all of Flynn Island. Okay, so what am I doing here? Because... We're dealing with King So we both loved Pinocchio, right? Yes. There's, there's, our, there's our Pinocchio re review. It was brilliant. Love Joseph Gordon-Lovett was absolutely fantastic as Jiminy Cricket. Tom Hanks was a great Geppetto. I should have hated the little cameos and the cuckoo clocks, but it made perfect sense. Like him and I were saying, um... Things are getting pretty hectic down there. Um, things that might not make sense in our world can make sense in their world, because that's their world. It's not the real world, so it's okay. And he thought the ending might have been a little ambiguous. Yeah, but... And they were walking off into heaven, because they're dead, eaten by that whale. Not a whale, sea monster. Who knows? I just, I, I, it, it, I, I, I loved it. I thought this is going to be Thought good. it was great. So my trifecta of animated films growing up, the three greatest, my three favorite, were Aladdin, Pinocchio, and The Little Mermaid. I thought the live-action Aladdin was okay, but, eh, nothing to write home about. The stuff they added I didn't like, and then the other stuff was meh. I'm not a huge fan of the guy who played the genie, whatever his name is. I, apparently he's some kind of uh, public abuser now. That's so, anywho, uh, so after we just watched Pinocchio yesterday, they just dropped the teaser trailer for The Little Mermaid. Now, I was skeptical on some things they did in Pinocchio, but having seen the film, all that went right out the window. I thought it was brilliant and perfect. So, having said that, I was a little taken aback by the casting of Ariel in The Little Mermaid, only because my very first crush, before my first crush on a real lady, Kimberly, the Pink Ranger on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, my other first crush, my first first crush, was Ariel from The Little Mermaid. So I just wanted it to look exactly like that, but... Is this... Pinocchio surprised me. We'll see how this does. I think the pizza's ready. Is Hold on one second. Is this gonna be... Hey, where'd you go? I'm over here. I'll be right back. All right, hurry it up. I had to take the pizza out of the oven, so we're good now. Didn't want, wanted to make sure the place didn't burn down. So we're gonna check out the teaser trailer for Little Mermaid. But like I said, any thing I was nervous about Pinocchio Turned out to be fantastic once I saw it in context of the film. Sorry about that. It's funny. That. It's cool. It's funny how you shouldn't jump to conclusions and judge things before you've actually seen it. Because maybe it'll make sense once you do. So I won't judge anything about this film until I see it in its entirety. But I am absolutely thrilled to be watching the teaser trailer. How about you? Um, yes, and also, is this going to be quick? Because from the looks of it, things are getting pretty hectic. Whoa! 
Okay, well, we'll take care of that. Somebody call the Ghostbusters. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be quick. It's just a teaser trailer. It's only a minute, 24 seconds. So I'm thinking, you know, we're just going to get a little flavor of the, of, the, of the feel of it and maybe the look. I'm really intrigued to see. Uh, I actually, oh, I should be wearing my shirt. I have an area, I was just wearing it the other day. I was wearing it while I watched the original animated Pinocchio at my theater in the Dolby, which was fantastic, to get ready for the new Pinocchio. So that was great too, but I have a Calm shirt yourself. with Ariel and it says Calm a whole yourself. new world. Calm yourself. I remember seeing The Little Mermaid in theaters when I was a kid, and then the, the projector broke, and then they had to give us passes to come back later and see it, but then my mom and I just ended up seeing Hunt for Red October instead. Great movie. And I forgot to tell you that about my new world, which is literally... A whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. It's, it's a world that I made. Oh, wait. It's all... I got that mixed up with Aladdin. What am I thinking of? No, it says, it says part of your world. Excuse me. I told you I love Aladdin too. The animated version. Something about that genie was just better. Um, anyway, he didn't abuse anybody, did he? Cool. Um, so, what I meant is part of your world. Part of your world, which is one of the most epic songs of all time, and so is Under the Sea. But I'm going to shut up. We should shut up. We should shut up now and watch this trailer. Come on. Here we go. Huh. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, Where's the remote? I coughed for a bit there. Co coughing. I don't Where's like the remote? Wait, I don't know. I, I do not like coughing. coughing. Can you find me the remote, please? I'm not... I'm not Stand by. I can't find the remote anywhere. I need the remote to watch the thing. Well... Well... What the heck was that? Oh, here it is. Oh, it was in his void. I don't want to be part of that world, but I do want to be part of your world. I'm glad that you're part of my... Okay, right, we're shutting Literally, up. It's a we're watching the trailer. Web. Dude, dude, dude. I'm gonna watch this trailer. You ready? Yep. I just need and to get back to my world. We. Go. When you wish upon a star. Pinocchio was so fantastic. Mm -hmm. That beginning when he got... Oh my god, it's beautiful. Okay. So far, so good. Perfect. Perfect. They're gonna make it look real. Not like the Lion King, that was a waste of time. Man, that was a teaser indeed. It doesn't get much more teasing than that. Literally, all we saw was underwater. Oh, a little God. glimpse of flounder. I gotta go. Okay, bye. What'd you think of the trailer? It was good. It was good. And um, and uh, what Ariel looks like, but that I have I'm not familiar with that actress at all. But she can. I know. I think she she's a singer, and apparently she can belt. She can sing. I can't wait to hear that song in its entirety. That gave me goosebumps right then and there. I can't wait for the full length trailer because that looked phenomenal. We got D23 going on right now, so they could things getting thrown at me from the void. Uh, uh, but like I was saying, like I like the Lion King. Oh, I only saw the Lion King because I'm a huge Billy Eichner fan. But that movie was like a waste of time. I can't believe it made so much money. What a waste of time. Because it, it, it was exactly, I mean, sure, they tweaked this or that, but for the most part, 99.9% .9 of it was just the other movie. So you, you don't, if you're going to remake an animated classic in live action, you don't want it to replace the animated version to where, oh, well, now we can watch this one because it's exactly the same. That's what I loved about Pinocchio. There were certain things that were different, but certain things that were the same, and certain things from the animated version that I, that I was like, oh man, they didn't put that in this one? But that's okay, because now I've got two great Pinocchio films, each of which has things uh, that are exclusive 
to itself. So I can enjoy both without them being the same thing. So I don't know what this Little Mermaid is going to be. Is it going to be the exact same movie? Which, you know, I'd probably still love it. Love that movie. Or are they going to tweak some things or improve on it? Uh, we'll, we'll see, but uh, uh, that trailer was uh, cool. Uh, that was a nice first look. I wouldn't even have called that a teaser trailer. I would have called that a first look. Anywho, I will sell the farm for a Tron 3, though. Dude, you just, like, wrecked some stuff over here, whoever's throwing stuff out of the void. So I'm gonna have to take care of that. But thanks for watching. Apparently I have like a hundred subscribers now. That's weird and crazy. Honestly, I'm gonna be upfront with you. I started this channel because my son started one. And so we kind of both had a channel so that we could see each other's videos and kind of be able to, uh, uh, when we're missing each other because, you know, sometimes he's with his mother. So I started this channel just for my son. I really had no intentions of anybody giving a darn about anything I had to say. But the fact that there's a hundred people right now that could all unsubscribe any moment, but... Good job, Dad! Well... Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is, is, is crazy. So if you're one of them, thank you so much. Thanks for stopping by! And, uh, I'll have more random crazy videos about all kinds of stuff, whether it be a trailer reaction or a Lego review or, or, or deep thoughts, who knows? But if you uh, have a recommendation or a preference of, of some kind of subject matter or something you would like me to, to cover or, or talk about, by all means, holler at your boy. <laughs> Let me know. Uh, 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 down in the comments. Let me know. Subscribe uh, to my channel too. Like and subscribe. Ah, oh, yes, and subscribe to Dad Sonic Boy. Dad Sonic Boy Flynn. Dad Sonic Boy Flynn, of course. <laughs> um, and then you can be part of our world. <laughs> you see what I did there? Okie dokie.